conducting business the way that they have been doing it. These have been very trying times for both of these superintendents. And considering the hand that they were dealt, I give them kudos for all the things that they're doing to try to make this the best situation possible. When we were in Lansing, one of the things that, <clears throat> that was said, the innovators get laughed at. And so sometimes we come up with something new, people don't understand it now. But five and 10 years later down the road, then you'll look back and say, wow, they seen, a, they seen a vision that we couldn't see at that time. And I just want to thank both Mr. Siski, Mr. Martin, and also Mr. Menzel for all the hard work that they have, have done. Now it's time for public comments. As we mentioned earlier, to be respectful of everyone's time, <clears throat> we will limit each public comment to three minutes or less. There's still time to fill out comment cards if you haven't already done so. Please raise your hand if you need one and someone will bring one to you. Remember, neither board will be responding to comments or questions this evening. When it's your turn to speak, please state your name and school district of residence. As they're passing the cards around, I would like State Representative David Rutledge to speak first. Mr. Rutledge, if you will. Thank you, President Garrett. Uh, and uh, congratulations to all of you. And thank you, President Bates. Uh, my comments will be very brief because at this point, for me, it is, uh, uh, it, it's like taking a deep breath because I, I have followed this process and your hard work uh, over uh, over the past year, and it's been it's been amazing to me to see what in fact has happened. Um, both superintendents uh, have already been given uh, thanks and kudos, but I'd like to do that myself and have you understand. Uh, how much, uh, not, not just myself, but all of us appreciate the position you're in and, and what you have, you have to look beyond yourselves in order to, to move this process forward. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, Scott Menz, thank you as uh, superintendent of the ISD uh, for your leadership not just in, in this process, but in the link between this process and the Board of Education uh, in Lansing. Uh, I think of this like um, sometimes uh, um, things out of our control uh, happen. They, they converge on us like a perfect storm, but <laughs> Sometimes that storm will destroy things, but create an opportunity uh, to have uh, new, uh, new buildings and just a new landscape. And that's what uh, I am certainly hoping uh, will come out of this process. Um, and of course, uh, I am absolutely looking forward to listening um, to the community, the community feedback. Uh, there are other questions that I could have added to the list. What will the new name be if we get to this point? I mean, all of the investment in, in uh, what has gone into the history uh, of both these districts and people who have gone on to do great things and how they hold on to what has, has, has occurred uh, in, in terms of their education and matriculation through uh, both these districts. Uh, that will somehow, if we get to the point of bringing everything together, will we'll need to be respected and, and somehow preserved. I just appreciate uh, being here and having this opportunity to watch um, and, and participate in, as this process goes forward. I promise you this, if we, we move this process down the road, I, I already have my eye on a pot of dollars that have been identified in the, in the um, governor's upcoming budget uh, for uh, processes like these that we absolutely could tap 
to, to help with the process moving forward without uh, it vacillating the, uh, exasperating the, uh, the deficit itself. So thank you once more, and I look forward to you doing some serious listening. Thank you. Thank you, myself, well, we have Epsilanti and we have Gudaran, we we'll have money power, right? We have Epsilanti and we have Gudaran, we we'll have academic power. Why do you want to marry two couples which have problems? <laughs> then I start to think. I said, there should be a dream out there. We make lemonade out of lemon. We don't care what the state does to us, we overcome that. And last time the people who remember, <clears throat> I talk about the vision, I remember, I told you close your eyes and dream of other kids. I'm glad to see that in this statement, in this resolution, we are talking about educating our kids from year zero to post-secondary. Nowhere else have it. We could create a school system that nowhere else take care of all of their kids. Number two, the status quo is not acceptable to us. We had it for many years, it doesn't work. And perhaps number three, as Mr. Rothus says, Mr. Rothus, the state could give us a break financially to overcome and help us to get the dream of zero to 20. Congratulations. Uh, we talked about this for the last 20 years or so that I've been around. Uh, it takes a bigger step. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bill. Next, I'd like to call uh, former board trustee Floyd Brumfield. satisfy the directives from the state? Did these directives come from Governor Rich Hyman and the state and legislative delegation? Are there directed related to the deputy delegation coming from former Governor Jennifer Graham as well? Third question was, have our local legislators been kept abreast of our concerns and have they been reciprocal in communication? The districts have merged their transportation services and food services. The districts have not stopped with these merges. They are exploring other options as well. These directives are not new to school districts. We can recall these districts shutting their normal school year down much earlier. I think it was Calcasta several years ago. In the spring of 2009, then Governor General Graham encouraged districts to engage in shared services as a means of reducing costs. Our area legislators have contacted them, contacted us, as well as school administrators. And their prime example was Representative Rutledge here tonight. In conclusion, I ask that you join me in voting yes to the proposed merger between the school district of Ipsonite and the school district of Willow Run. Thank you. <coughs> Stacy Spencer, 